Guys, I know you kind of knew you'd be short-handed today, only so many healthy guys. Just talk about uh, what you guys were able to do to kind of pull away at the end of the first half and then uh, get in control of the game for the rest of the way. Um, I think in the second half, we came out with pretty much the same intensity that we had the first half. It's just that they were able to stay with us, you know, because they had the first legs. I think they wore it down towards the end. So we were just able to pull away, you know, with our, with our legs and being in shape and condition. So I think that was the difference in the second half. You guys get a, a bad illness going around like this, is it tough? You just don't want to be around the guys because you don't want to get it worse than it is? You already have two out with with something bad like that. Has it been tough to, to practice as shorthanded as you've been? Yeah, it's been kind of tough, but we just really want to get those guys healthy before they get out on the court. That's the most important thing. Stan said a couple of weeks ago he really wanted more out of you offensively. So what has been his message to you, and then how did it feel to go out and put on a, a game like you did today? Pretty much. He basically, basically just play. You know, tonight, I just I know we like, we couldn't we we slack in um rebounding position because one of our best rebounders was out. So I just wanted to fill up that slack and just put my team in the best position to win the game. Q, have you ever had this many rebounds in a game? High school, anything High like school. that? <laughs> that was the last time. <laughs> Not since I've been in college. Sure. Torland, I think it's the second time in four games you've reset your career high. Do you feel good just about the way the shots are falling inside and out for you? Uh, yeah, it feels good. You know, to see the, the work put in the off season that it's starting to pay off, you know, getting a lot of repetition and stuff. It's making those shots a lot easier than they were last year. So it's good to see that the hard work is starting to finally show itself on the court. For either of you guys, has it been hard just to kind of, I guess, get a rhythm going just because you've had so many different lineups, one guy out for one game here and that kind of thing along the way? Yeah, I mean, it's always hard playing on a team like this to have so much talent and you know, everybody are interchangeable at different positions. A lot of the time, coach, you know, wants to try different matchups. So a lot of the time, it, it messes up the confidence, you know, and, you know, sometimes you ask, like, why aren't I playing as much and stuff like that. But just to play a game like this is really good for your confidence, you know, so when we play you know, a stronger team, you know, you can play with that same confidence as you played out there against a team like family. What was the key to jump-starting the offense? The past two games has been a struggle as, as far as today goes. Uh, Coach worked on uh, a lot of getting a lot of easy shots and, like, transition. And uh, today I think that helped us out, you know, with getting rebounds and running, you know, with a guard like Hugh that can rebound and then get long outlets to AC, you know, who's already quick with the ball. You know, he's catching the ball half court, and he's all pretty much already at the rim. So just getting a lot of transition buckets really helped, on, helped us offensively. Hugh, what's the key for you guys in these next three games before the Big East starts, just to be clicking the right way once conference play starts? Just basic for us to stay together and work as a team. See, we play as a unit, good thing happens. See, when everybody out, came out and played together, we was able to get the win, so we just got to stay together with these last few games. For you, is it exciting to think about the depth you might have in a week or so? I mean, once you get your ones back, you get Vic and, and Ron healthy, actually having nine, ten guys in a game like that? Watch a team like Marquette that plays like 11 guys. Like you know, it's it's real effective on the court. You know, they have those fresh legs all the time throughout the whole game. Like you know, it should really help us. You know, once we get those guys back, you know, we can start rotating those guys into the lineup, and everybody starts you know getting the confidence back. You know, Jawanza hasn't been playing for a while, so you know he has to get in the rhythm. So once you know he really starts playing like Jawanza, that was you know that we saw last year. Like you know, we can be a really good team and just make some noise in the Big East.